All right, very nice day. So everybody uh, have a very quick instruction for us to take in our EDC uh, blockchain. And so we've said it's important for you to always go back to your EDC and move your coin from your EDC earning and move to your uh, move to your Yobit. And why are you moving your EDC to your Yobit? Maybe a monthly basis or interval of two two months and all of that. You have to move your EDC to your Yobit and trade it, all right? Like uh, maybe when you are moving your EDC to your bit, you discover that EDC coin was going up, you sell to Bitcoin and then set a low price. When the price comes down, they buy back for you rather than leaving your EDC at your EDC back office. And especially those of us that have several blocks of EDC, like one, two, three, four account is a block, four account is a block, you have many of them, then you can just go to your EDC and join your daily earning or you will join every month. And so I won't show you that very quickly how to go about that. Of course, you know you need to have your your uh, your bit. So I'm going to go in now, EDC. Okay, let's go here. Okay. I'm going to go in now to EDC blockchain. Okay. Of course, you see that the market, EDC market is actually going up. Okay, just a moment. So just want to pull it up now. Uh, just a moment. Okay, so Let's go here, uh, go to EDC blockchain. Wallet dot blockchain dot MN. Okay, so this is, of course, uh, you log into your EDC. For some of you who don't understand how to go about your EDC, of course, you know, you need to log in with your uh, password and uh, your password and uh, what's it called? Your password and your uh, brain key. Haven't done that, this is your blockchain. Of course, you know, another place you have is your another place you have is your echo font so let's go to echo font sorry uh, Okay, we'll go to April Fund. If you are not building, if you are just passive, you don't have any money on April Fund. If you are just passive, you don't have any money on April Fund. But if you are building a structure, then you have some money 
on Equifund. You know, you are earning in two ways in GDC. Uh, so let me log into one account, for instance. And uh, please, you can, you need to verify your, you need to verify your, your account on Equifund. So how uh, do you verify your account on Equifund? I can see this Equifund account. I have about 1,077 EDC. Uh, so what do I do? I withdraw it. But if you have not verified your account, you need to go to your profile, all right? And then go to your profile and fill in your detail, your name and your information. And then you need to put in your phone number and uh, click on verify. Then they send a message to your phone number. Verify your email and verify your phone number. Then you can now make a withdrawal. Look at it, I want to make a withdrawal of EDC, all the EDC withdraw. Where will it be withdrawn to? Okay. Now this one, because I maybe I'm building a network on it. So if you, and how do you build a network? You say you should build a network of three direct under your team and uh, uh, three under your team, all right? And, uh, then two, two, three under themselves, that order, so you are building a network. So, but if you don't have, maybe like some of us who created many blocks, that was already a network for us by itself. So that was already a network for us. So you can be earning uh, both your, on your EDC blockchain, that's your earning daily, your earning daily of 120, look at it, look at overview, all right, look at overview here. Now this overview showed you how volume of coins coming, look at it, Crow fund sent 120, 120 on daily basis, in a month will be 3,600, you can see the one I just moved now to this place. Now, let me go to your bit. Go to your your bit, simple, please take note of this process. Very, very important so you don't make a silly mistake. Log into your Yobit. As you log into your Yobit, what do you do? Uh, click on your wallet, your Yobit. Click on wallet, Yobit. Okay. Okay. Now, if you go to Yobit, go to wallet. Now look at EDC. Uh, EDC, it is just coming up. Uh, just coming up. All right, uh, so EDC, look at EDC, EDC, then click on the plus sign on that deposit. And we start the plus sign, you click on plus sign, deposit. Please copy this. This is the wallet, Ubits hyphen uh, dash wallet dash new, copy it, grab it, and go to your EDC. All right. Now click on send. Then paste the wallet here. Where is the enter name or address? So paste it. Go back again to the Yobits and copy uh, copy the memo. Copy the verbatim. Copy the memo verbatim and come to your EGC again. All right and paste the memo. Now, how many EDC are you withdrawing? This is 1,918 EDC. Uh, I just want to withdraw, let I want to exemplify for you. Uh, let's say I'm just withdrawing uh, 1,000, okay? Put 1,000 or all 1,900 EDC or 1,900 and just 1,900 EDC, all right? We're gonna charge 0 0.001 very, is significant then come they asked me to put my password because I, maybe I didn't log in recently so I put in my password and I click send all right so I click send now you see 1900 EDC is sent to your bits then you go back to my your bits okay close it then let me refresh let me refresh my Yobit. All right, so to refresh my Yobit.
Uh, so just the step is very simple. It's direct, it's not too technical. Uh, it's very simple for you to follow and um, you shouldn't encounter a lot of problems doing it. And just be meticulous. And uh, so let's just wait, uh, I want to refresh. And, uh, after a while, you know, let's just get refreshed. After a while you're gonna see the pending. Okay, let us go to, now let me go to trade, you go to trade. Uh, you go to trade, then you go to EDC. All right, EDC. Can you see? Go to EDC. Now you can see EDC. All right. EDC is 45 Satoshi. 45 Satoshi, 44 Satoshi. Now, what do you do? Assuming you this I sent has dropped, but it has not dropped. So that's not an issue. Assuming what you have sent has dropped, whatever volume you have, and now EGC is at 44, 45, you can set at maybe uh, 50 Satoshi, right? 50 Satoshi, not all, you do in badges, 50 Satoshi, maybe 1,000 units of EDC, you click on sell. Now it's here for you, the volume is here. There another volume you can set at 45 Satoshi, right? So that they could sell for you as fast as possible. Now, but if they sell for you at 45 Satoshi, you can come back if they have sold for you. You can come back again. Uh, let me go back to the wallet if this is pending now. Okay. All right, you can see that awaiting deposit is here. So after a while now, it will drop to the balance. So now you have some other volume, maybe they sold for you. Then immediately they have sold for you. Go back again, EDC, all right? Then they have sold for you. Go back again, EDC. If you have some money here, you just say, okay, EDC, buy for me, maybe at 38 Satoshi. How many? Maybe 10,000, just use an instant. Now, if you have sold, look at it now, let's say if you have sold 45 here, and 10,000 EDC, for instance, uh, that will give you about, about, about 0 0.0044910 Satoshi uh, Bitcoin. Now, you now come back here and say, buy for me at this volume. Now, with all this money, all this money, how many is it gonna buy for you? Is this gonna be 10,000? No. Look at it, let's see how much going to buy for us. Uh, so if I said the same money here, it should buy for me, that means it's gonna buy about 11,800 thereabouts. Well, let's just say 11,800 because of the char little charges. 11,800 or 11,810, 11,810 or 11,815. That should buy for me uh, 11,812, 11,810, something like that, 11,800 first light. Now, if he's gonna buy for me that, then I keep it and go. Now, when the market dropped to this level, they buy for you. That means your earning is still dropping on your list on the EDC blockchain. You're, you are now using that to trade here to increase your money. And over time, you can imagine, you may, you may be surprised how only this 10,000 volume, you could trade it up to 20,000 volume of EDC. Can you see, guys? I see this 1,900 has dropped here. Right, I can set that as say, let's say uh, 48 Satoshi. Okay, it's a 1009, and I say sell. Okay, so all the orders will be placed here. So every time I come around and I see the price of uh, the money is sold for me, the problem, I quickly can just uh, 
I quickly can just uh, uh, take thing again and then sell. So all you are doing is to increase your EDC and at the same time use it to farm Satoshi. You know, what you are holding now is your EDC or you're using it to farm more Bitcoin. So whichever way, maybe at a point you are just in a need of money, serious need of money, then you don't need to bother yourself, just come to your EDC. Remember, you have 10,000 EDC and now you have increased that EDC to maybe 20,000 and you need emergency money. Then you can just convert that EDC into Bitcoin and withdraw your money from uh, your bit exchange. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, it's so simple. You don't need too much English about your EDC. I said, I have to send this, I have to give to us this, basically for us to know how to uh, convert, remove. So, so once again, go to your EDC, log into your EDC, click on send, all right? Click on send, and then go to your bits, all right? And go to your wallet on your bits, and on the wallet, what do you do next? You click on, plus sign, which is the deposit under EDC. Okay, so, but if you do not have any EDC here, okay, you can see, then you see plus. But sometimes, maybe it's your first time, you will not see EDC here, what you do is search for it, EDC, and wait. Type EDC in the search area, because sometimes you might have not done transaction or you do not have any EDC, you wouldn't see the EDC, then you have to set for it this way, you will not see at number one, then you click on deposit, then copy this as an address, then I'm just taking it once again, then you paste it here, uh, sorry, just taking it once again, uh, so that you don't get it mixed up. Okay, copy it there, go back here, paste it, this is the address, and then copy the memo the same way, Go back to your bit again, then copy the memo. Everything is back and Then go back, and then paste the memo here, and then type whatever volume of EDC you want to send. Maybe it's 100,000 EDC. Okay, then if it's uh, 120,000 EDC, all right, send it in, then click it. That's all. That's what you need, and as simple as possible, you click on send, and then you move your EDC, and then once it's done on your Yobit, you now know how to go about going to your trade, All right? Once again, go to your trade, and do the need for your trade. What you do in your trade, you search for EDC, then look at EDC here, then you click for the volume you want to send. So ladies and gentlemen, so after it's been sold, you can place the price down. You can see some people have placed low price. You know, they want to buy at least even some based at 21, some even at one Satoshi. All right, so thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I think here yeah, this is very simple for everybody. So if you are on Google uh, Prime, you remember that our focus is our personal trading. And uh, now we are just adding up our mining project as we make the money, find way of duplicating it on your trading. And so that uh, at the long run, we'll be able to have a lot of uh, crypto assets and as much as possible increasing a channel to make enough of Bitcoin. You might not have chan chances of making more Bitcoin, but all these ways will help us to make enough Bitcoin. So those of you who have not started your mining city, I think it's high time to take advantage of your mining city. Don't play with your personal trading. Thank you very much, everybody. You have a nice time. And then if you don't have any questions, then don't waste time to ask me a question. If you have no sign up for your paper form, well, nobody is compelling you, so because I'm not used to compelling people to take advantage of stuff, but it's only a choice. So have a nice day, everybody. Thank you very much.